What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan and today we're going to look at a very strong off-roading vehicle that got a phase one upgrade making it even stronger. So without further ado, here is the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. Hope you guys really enjoy this. Please help support the channel by liking, subscribing, commenting, and please share the video as well. So let's get into this. Roll the tape. The Western Star 6900 Twin Steer is a real life monster that is designed for off highway jobs like logging, mining, and other heavy duties. The 6900 series truck has two models, Extreme Duty and the Twin Steer configuration. These trucks are specialized and have tailored specifications to fit customers' needs. Western Star proudly boasts that their 6900 series trucks can pull loads of over 500,000 pounds and haul over 80,000 pounds on the vehicle's body. In SnowRunner, the Western Star is one of the largest, most capable off-roaders in the game. It has great power, large tires, coupled with an amazing upgrade that came in Phase 1, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So before we dive into the pros and cons, let's check out the base stats. The Western Star 6900 Twin Steer is classified as a heavy truck. It weighs 14.9 tons. In its stock configuration, it boasts a power to weight of A-, a durability of A-, Fuel consumption C+, fuel capacity is 360 liters or 96 gallons, it comes with the stock suspension, its tires also come stock with a 55 inch all-terrain tire, its all-wheel drive is capable, and its diff lock is switchable. Alright, let's dive into the pros and cons of the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. You know how it goes, bad news first, so coming in at downside number one, maneuverability and terrain limitations. Later, we'll talk about how great this vehicle performs in rough conditions, but upon looking at the vehicle's length, you can already tell it's going to be limited in the places that it can reach. The Western Star cannot turn sharply due to its long body, and the vehicle can get caught up in those bumpy, fast-changing, windy trails. To be brief, drivers just have to accept that this vehicle is powerful, can move cargo with the best of them, but isn't going to be able to go places that the other smaller trucks can go. Downside number two fuel economy. Just like some other vehicles that share the Westline V16 engine, the Western Star also suffers from bad fuel economy. While it does have a large fuel tank unlike the Paystar 5600 TS, its fuel burn is very similar which can be an issue. Players using this truck on hard mode will be challenged by this downside. However, it will get to places pretty quickly. To mitigate this, switch off all-wheel drive, use the high-range gearbox, set up fuel stops, mobile tankers, and choose routes that will support fast movement. Downside number three, no vehicle add-ons. Our number three downside is probably the most frustrating for drivers. When getting this hulking beast back to the garage to refuel, repair, and outfit for missions, we find out there are no add-on options at all. After noticing the no add-on options, the next question arises. Well, maybe I can attach a hitch trailer to add more space. Again. No dice. Not being able to tow a trailer or have any add-ons at all will limit the 6900 to strictly hauling cargo. To be real, most of the game is strictly hauling cargo so it's not the end of the world, but I would like to see some type of low profile fuel or maintenance add-ons to give it more rolls. Even a large or small crane would be a nice addition as well. For now, we must take it as it is, but no add-on capability is definitely a downside. Downside number four, stability. The stability is not unstable enough to call it tippy, but it also can't be labeled a sturdy truck. Without cargo, the twin steer is probably average at best for stability, given it's very narrow and has a tall silhouette. Players that use the twin steer are probably just hauling cargo due to the number three downside. With cargo though, the vehicle feels more top heavy and prone to tipping. If you're good at handling unstable trucks with cargo, then disregard my next statement. For those who want to make this truck a little bit more forgiving when it comes to stability, try dropping the suspension and using the dually tire setups to keep you upright. It might seem counterproductive, but the loss of ground clearance isn't that much, and don't worry, it still sits pretty high, and its base tire height is 55 inches. Downside number five, upgrades come later. 
Upon finding the twin steer in the northeast corner of Michigan's Island Lake map, getting it back to the garage and taking it out for a test run, you notice it does have good capability in its stock configuration. Even with a good stock setup, the vehicle's true potential comes later. The engine upgrades and race suspension are found one region later on the Alaska maps, so you have to wait a little bit longer. However, the upgrade that sprung this vehicle's off-road ability is the all-wheel drive unit on a Mondra map in the Kola Peninsula. It's wonderful that the developers decided to award this vehicle with such a powerful upgrade, but the wait and the effort to find this upgrade merits a spot on the downsides list. And finally, coming in at downside number 6, it's damage prone. To make this downside short and sweet, if you plan on using the high range gearbox and flying down roads at speed, just be aware you're going to take massive hits of damage to your suspension. To combat this, just slow down on paved surfaces, and then when you get the dirt roads, open it up a little bit until you start taking hits again. Then just throttle it back a little bit and you should be okay. I have to say, those downsides seem pretty daunting, but the upsides are worth hearing about. Here are the pros for the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. Coming in at upside number one, fuel capacity. As we have learned, the fuel economy is alarming for the Twin Steer, but the 360 liter 96 gallon tank allows for the vehicle to counter our downside number two. With one of the larger fuel tanks in the game, coupled with good saving techniques, drivers can get pretty good range from a vehicle with a thirsty Westline V16 engine. Just be sure to keep an eye on your fuel gauge. Upside number two, power and weight. Power balance with good weight appears to be the winning formula when it comes to off-roading. The twin steer boasts one of the most powerful, fuel-hungry engines in the game, giving it great power, speed, and hauling ability. That great power is balanced with good weight which helps negate too much wheel spin, but the vehicle still suffers in that so stay aware and be ready to downshift to low gear, activating differential locking. To wrap this one up, power and weight are a good baseline to start, but as we move forward, everything builds putting together a great machine. Upside number 3, all wheel drive, diff lock, and gearbox. The vehicle comes stock with a switchable differential locking feature, and later in Phase 1, the all-wheel drive upgrade is added. Even though it's a long wait for the all-wheel drive upgrade, when acquired the vehicle's ability is essentially doubled. Also, being a heavy truck and having access to the high range feature is advantageous as well. These two features are great for fuel savings and also driver choice for situational use. The all-wheel drive upgrade adds a boost in performance that made this truck one of the better off-roaders in adverse conditions. Upside number 4, Cargo Capacity The long frame on the Western Star is great for what it does best, hauling large amounts of cargo. It's the only vehicle in the game that can transport 4 slots of cargo on its frame. This will allow players to deliver large amounts of cargo without semi-trailer use. Trailers actually can be pretty hard to handle sometimes, especially hitch trailers, so this upside makes the Twin Steer a great choice for cargo transport missions. Upside number 5, Tires and Ground Clearance One of the biggest eye-opening upsides in my opinion is tires and ground clearance. Not many trucks start out with a tire above 50 inches. The Western Star starts out with a 55 inch tire and also has more options in that department. It's really nice to see an American truck with good tire height and options. Also, the upgraded suspension will allow a 63 inch tire giving its ground clearance a massive boost. To put this in perspective, the only trucks that have larger tires are the CAT 770G, the CAT 745C, and the Azov Antarctic. This vehicle's large tires and ground clearance are definitely among the best and contribute greatly to our next upside. Upside number 6, Mud and Snow Performance Anyone that has played the 6900 prior to the all-wheel drive release knows that the vehicle is still amazing. I've seen some crazy container delivery times on the Drownlands map back in the day before the all-wheel drive upgrade was released. I can only imagine how well it would perform now on that same contest. The long wheelbase will allow the vehicle to span lengths of mud pits to grab traction on the other side which will prevent the vehicle from getting bogged down in some cases. 
To quickly wrap this one up, the Western Star is one of the best vehicles to use in heavy mud and super snow due to all those previous upsides we just covered. And finally, coming in at upside number 7, it's free. To wrap up our upsides, instead of paying well over 100 grand for this hulking beast, it's found stranded and unlocked upon completion of the No Country for Old Truck task. This is an easy upside well because who doesn't like a free truck, especially one of the more capable vehicles in the game. Alright, so moving on to my personal ratings for this vehicle. For power, I gave it a 5 because it shares one of the stronger engines in the game with notable off-roaders. For terrain navigation, a rating of 4. Its deep mud and snow performance are quite impressive, but its long frame will restrict the places it can navigate. For ease of use, a rating of 3 is a generous score. Some players would struggle with the vehicle's sheer size, maneuverability, and no all-wheel drive option upon vehicle discovery. For aesthetics, it's a massive, great looking addition to the Western Star truck, so definitely a rating of 4. Stability can be tricky for novice drivers, but it can be managed with experience. With cargo though, the vehicle does become top heavy, so just watch out. Its poor fuel economy is countered by one of the larger tanks in the game, giving it more range, so this boosted it to an average score. Being that the 6900 is a very specialized, one frame of mind vehicle, its utility is restricted to just hauling massive cargo loads. Good weight, switchable all-wheel drive and diff lock, and massive tires, the Twin Steer is one of the best trucks for deep mud and deep snow. So in conclusion, the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer is an off-roading monster representing what an American truck should be able to do. It has some scary drawbacks, but its power can be used with great success with good old time in the truck learning how to keep it on its wheels. Its maneuverability, damage issues, stability, and fuel burn are downsides that can be managed with smart gameplay like we talked about, but its utility is something we just have to deal with. The Western Star is a specialized vehicle built for one purpose. I do wish there were more add-ons to justify using this vehicle more, or to be able to add a hitch trailer for delivering even more cargo. Also, waiting for upgrades can deter drivers from choosing this as a delivery vehicle despite being capable in its stock form. The all-wheel drive edition takes this truck to a whole other level coupled with the high range gearbox. Before the all-wheel drive upgrade, the vehicle's off-road ability was still impressive and could traverse some really tough terrain. In closing, the Twin Steer is an elite off-roader with some weaknesses that need to be managed. In my humble opinion, we can either complain about its shortcomings or harness its power to deliver mass amounts of cargo across maps. Try it out and let me know what you think. I hope this review gave you a fresh new perspective of the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. Please smash the like button. Definitely share this video with someone who is struggling with the game and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any future content. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. God bless and stay upright.